Tim here with Swing Catalyst, and I get a lot of questions on regards to which cameras to use with our video software. Uh, Swing Catalyst is a video software company, and for indoor facilities like this here at the IGAGA facility in Bluffton, South Carolina, they have an indoor facility and they are using network cameras, which we do recommend uh, network cameras for indoor facilities and even garage bay facilities over USB cameras. So I just want to show you, you can synchronize up to four cameras using our video software. And here is the network camera. If you're not familiar, familiar with the camera, this is a network camera. It, uh, the video feed goes through a Cat6 cable connected right into the back of the camera. And this camera is powered, so you can have a power source. You do have the option to get this camera in power over ethernet, which would eliminate the power cord because you can get the power and the video feed right over the Cat6 cable. Now, with these cameras, if you have a multiple cameras like this facility, we do recommend uh, connecting this Cat6 cable into a dedicated and supported network card into a PC. And again, that can be as a standard or over power over ethernet. Moving along to the, the height, the height of the camera, we do recommend that this height would be three feet, seven inches, or just over one meter for those that use the metric system. Again, three feet, seven inches, or about one meter. Now the distance from the, let's say the camera to the player's hands, we do recommend that being just about three meters or about 10 feet. Again, these are just recommendations and you can change those heights and distances depending on your facility and even your preferences. So again, I hope this little video helps. Thank you.